I'd like to show you how to create DNA charts in Tableau. Some people call these barbell charts. Couldn't really think of a good name, but they sort of look like DNA to me when they're created. So to build, a, to build this type of chart, let's start by dragging, let's say, state into the rows. And then let's go ahead and compare the average sales to the median sales. So I'm going to drag that onto the axis and choose median. And we get a nice little combined axis. I'm going to take measure names and put them on color and then change my mark type to circles. Now this gives me a dot plot. <clears throat> and uh, let's go ahead and sort by, let's say, the average sales. Let's sort in descending by sales and choose average. Okay, so now you see we've got this, you know, the bars are, I'm sorry, the dots are sorted by the blue. So um, what there's two different ways that you can do this. The first way, and this is the way that I did it, is I started by taking the average sales again and putting that on the secondary axis. And what I did there, after I synchronize it, I can go ahead and change that to a Gantt, Gantt bar, and then I can connect the Gantt bar and make it go down to the orange circle to represent median sales through a calculation. So I'm going to create a calculated field that's called, I'll just call it bar length for lack of a better way of saying it. And what I want to do is I want to do the average sales minus the median sales. All right, and hit OK. And then if I put that on bar length, on size, to give me the length of the bar, you'll notice my bars are going the wrong direction. That's because I want the Gantt chart to go backwards. So really, my bar length should have a negative in the front. So I need to do minus and then wrap the whole thing in parentheses. All right, so now we got something close. And on my marks card, I'm going to go to the average sales uh, shelf or a card. And I'm going to go ahead and remove measure names from the color and then make the size nice and thin. Okay. And then lastly, I need to right click on this axis and move the marks to the back. Okay. So this is one way I could do it. I could then maybe hide the show, hide the header. And this is uh, option, I'll call this option one. Okay, great. So I want to show you another way that uh, my colleague Chris Love showed me yesterday that's much, much quicker. So let's start by just duplicating the sheet and then getting rid of the average sales. So now we're back to just our, uh, our dot plot. Now what we can do is we can uh, duplicate measured values on, uh, oops, sorry. Let me go ahead and drag measure values on here again and then go ahead and make a tool axis, All right? You know, and then synchronize, of course. But now what we want to do is we want to take measure names, or actually we want to go to the second pill, and over here on the marks card, let's change it to a line. You'll see it looks kind of messy now, but what we need to do is we need, our, we need to move measure names from our color shelf to the path. So I'm just going to drag it from there to the path, and now we instantly have the, uh, I'm going to go ahead and hide the header, and now we have a much easier, much uh, easier way to look at it. So, oops, wrong, wrong one there. I want to go to the line and maybe make the lines a little bit thinner. And that's option two. So those are two quick ways to create, uh, you know, barbell charts or DNA charts, whatever you want to call them. I'm not really exactly sure what they're called, but they're really useful for comparing um, two measures and showing the magnitude of change between the two. So hope this helps and uh, everybody have a great day.